Dwayne Craddock. Dwayne Craddock. That's his name. That's the shooter's name. Dwayne Craddock. You remember, you remember Paddock from from the Las Vegas shooting? Paddock, Craddock, and Paddock. Hmm. Coincidental. D E W A Y N E. Dwayne Craddock. Forty years old, engineer for the city of Virginia Beach. Black. Uh oh, now what? He's black. The shoot is black. How's the mainstream media going to spin that one? 40, 40, 45 handgun, had a rifle. No eyewitnesses. No bloody video. <clears throat> Marcus Conti reporting. So I'll speed read some of the uh, weekly... Weekly news out here in the park. Ah, back to connect with nature so that the brain connects with nature. Uh, no people. <laughs> Got to get away from people. That's how you... <laughs> there was an interesting story. Remember the guy, the, uh, the, the, um, the main, the guy up in Maine, the, um, the recluse, the guy that lived in the, in the woods for 26 years, freezing cold. He survived 26 main winters like sub freezing right stealing food from the boy scouts right? remember that guy he said they asked him he said did you ever get sick in 26 years and he said he said no you can't get sick if you're around if you're not around people <laughs> you think about that right it's people that get you sick <laughs> emotionally mentally physically right I stay away from those people most of the time. <laughs> That's what's good about social media. It's like, it's kind of a buffer, right? It's kind of a buffer between people. Right? Is it a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> it's funny, though. So, I'll talk about the, uh, the shooting, uh, Assange, and um, possible exposure to psychological torture. Trump and his china Mexico. Mexican stupidity. Talk a bit, a little bit about treason, impeachment, and the Yellow Vest 29. So, I'll try to keep it under an hour too. <laughs> so, the I guess the the story is is fresh because it's still breaking, of the the man who walks into his municipality. He's an engineer. He has education, right? And he opens fire on his fellow employees, killing 13 of them. 12 of them. And then the police gun him down in a in a blaze in a in a in a all out gun battle. And he dies. Shoots a cop, bounces off the cop's vest. Right? And you've got you got the Democrats, they're lining up. Oh, gun control! Gun control. Guns, 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 guns. That's before they knew he was black. Guns, 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 guns. Got to get rid of the guns, 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 guns. Right. Watch now. Now when they when they put a black face on it, and this is not a a diss on black people. This is just an example of that your politicians are are pay to play. They just see an opportunity. They don't. They don't. They're not certainly not orchestrating it. These things are orchestrated deep state, right? I believe. Well, this just social engineering, right? But that's besides the point. How the, how the media will spin it will be interesting because now it's a blackface. So now what they'll do is they'll, they'll pivot. Oh, no, no, it's guns. Yeah, but, yeah, but mental illness. <laughs> That'll be the new spin, right? They have to spin it in a mental illness because, because blacks are law-abiding. And, and you, can't say, you can't say that a black is a, is a, it can't have a gun and is a criminal, right? Because that's racist. There's so many political correct, correct, incorrect things out there that are perceived as political correctness. Uh, so that's interesting. Do we know if it's a, um, you know, pair of Fs? I don't know. Still, it's still too early to say. Let it, let it. Uh, let's see. Let's start seeing some of the victims, some of the, uh, some bodies, some gore, some bodies, some gore, some, some funerals. Let it play out, right? 
Are the kills real? So far, it looks like it. But that doesn't mean it's not a pair of Fs. Right? That's not what it means. So, talk about Julian Assange quickly. Um, so, prolonged exposure to psychological torture, says Nels Melzer of the UN, is a UN torture expert. <laughs> now, UN torture expert is telling the United States that that your actions in conjunction with the UK, uh, Ecuador, and um, Sweden, the four, these four democracies are engaging in a campaign of psychological torture on a publisher. The UN is saying that. The UN expert is saying that. What is it? What, you think the, the US gives a shit? Huh? Remember when the U, United States, oh, United Nations, oh yeah, the United Nations, you know, unite the nations together forever. Human rights. <laughs> Remember all that shit? <laughs> Fucking, it's all bullshit, right? They don't give a shit. The U.S. don't care about human rights. Fucking human rights. Right? The U.N. <laughs> Remember when Bush said that? Yeah, we have to take care of ourselves first. <laughs> you can blame Bush for that. Bush was the most, the most aggressive during uh, the Iraq nonsense. To um, to uh, disavow, disassemble, devalue the United Nations, and now what you have is this, right? Trump likes that shit. Trump, they'll just jump right on it, right? They don't care. Right? Make make journalism illegal. <laughs> make free speech illegal. Make everything illegal. Just 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 God damn it! Everybody just pay. Just keep doing what you're supposed to do. Do what we tell you to do, God damn it! <coughs> and then we'll just keep making some money, man. What the fuck is your problem? What's your problem, America? Just do as you're told, man. So Julian Assange is 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 um, and that's that's true. I mean, I I speculate that there's some chemical uh, torture going on too, but certainly the psychological torture. I I discounted it because, um, hmm. I don't know why I discounted it. I didn't. I didn't think. I because it was so sudden, because he had survived in the Ecuadorian embassy, right, for for years in solitary almost, and then suddenly he's in the he's in captivity. And and he go and his his condition goes so downhill. Right. It just seemed it seemed like they 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 put a little a little you know a little. Um, a little poison in the well there. That's what it seemed like to me. So I would say it's a combination of both. But nonetheless, um, so and and the response. This is the you know the you know, we already know the United States' response. He's not a journalist. He's a criminal. He's a terrorist. He they should kill him. We should kill him. Death sentence. You can't release a person into. You can't extradite someone into a country that has already already vowed that they want to kill him all right so that plays i mean that actually plays in favor in, in, to, to assange's favor that the united states has already declared him a terrorist without any evidence right they don't have any evidence so so what did the uk foreign secretary say um he said this is unbelievable the uk uk foreign secretary said assange chose to hide from justice. <laughs> right? So, it, because he, he, he sought asylum in Ecuador, Ecuador's embassy, from, from the death sentence, an a, a unjustified death sentence of being extradited to the U.S., he, um, he, he, that's, uh, he chose to hide from justice. <laughs> Who's justice? That's the most unjust fucking scenario I, you could ever paint, right? So that's Julian Assange, a hero, a, a, a legend. Right? Please don't kill him, United States. Come to your senses. It's not worth the money. It's really not worth the money, you know? We're going to be forever scarred because of, because of the actions of, of a couple of war criminals, Bolton, Trump. You know, Elliot Abrams, these guys, Mnuchin, Mike Pompeo, war criminals, that's who they are. 
it's they're, they're just you know they don't want to because of that Russia Gate shit. That Russia Gate shit is still tied in there. Right? You can't say that there's election fraud in this country. No, 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 no. We need that because if you expose that election fraud, you got to look at all the the gerrymandering and the and the the voter purging and all that other shit that goes on. Right? So just fuck it. Julian Assange, throw him under the bus, right? So we'll keep talking about him. Meanwhile, Trump is um, Mr. Four-Time Bankruptcy, Mr. Donald Trump. Ah, that's the solution. I'm smart. Go bankrupt. All right, so right now he's, he's the great, the great I am is, um, he's, is it the great short, the great short market where you bash the market right at the top? Is that what Trump is doing? Does he's got does he got his guys Kushner and the rest of those guys shorting the shit out of the market, and then the president does some bullshit, you know, tariff on on Mexico and China. Hey, look, you could you could you could charge your competitors more for services, and charge them more to sell their stuff, right? And you could call that a war, but it does it, it does it solve the greater problem. The object is to solve the greater problem, which is income and wealth inequality in the country, and the idea that jobs are not um, enough in this country, right? And while Trump is doing that, he's saying he's saying, oh, no, no, we're going to tariff Mexico. <laughs> we're going to charge 25 percent on Mexican goods, anything that crosses the border, in our direction. Because, uh, because they won't address the immigration problem. <laughs> yeah. It's just insanity, right? Do we? I mean, is there people watching this? Do you still believe that 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 the the country's problem of income and wealth inequality and and um, and uh, all the jobs being shipped overseas and and um, higher unemployment than the government tells you they tell you 3.7 percent it's probably around 20 percent uh, do you do you really believe that it has to do with those immigrants do you really does people do people still believe that that's the problem and not the problem of the bankers stealing all the money and the corporations stealing all the money do you do, do you really still believe that lie because that's what trump is saying right now he's he's saying He's saying tariff Mexico to solve the immigration problem that's going to make jobs for you, more jobs. Right? But how, how, do you, how do you manufacture more jobs when you've given, you've given the, the corporations all the tax breaks in the world and they're still, they're still going to tank. They're still, most of them are still on life support and, and um, especially the banks, right? And... They haven't created a single job extra in the whole process. In fact, they've cut more jobs. You see, the 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 um, who was it? I, I forgot. There's but the corporations—they're cutting out, they're cutting, cutting jobs, and continuing to make more and more profits and put those profits in their pocket. But so so how does that? My point is, how does how does how do you connect? the border and and Mexico's immigration influx to to tariff and and making jobs more it just it's stupid and it doesn't make sense when you think about it but people believe it because I hate the Mexicans ah fuck those Mexicans I fucking Arabs fuck the Mexicans and the Arabs fucking Arabs fucking blacks these fucking whites hate. <laughs> That's what sells. That's what politics is all about. Uh, that's what we're talking about, really. It's fucking some politics. Ah, I'm out in the park. Ah. No people. No dogs either. Where's the dogs? It's even too early for the dogs. Ah, damn. Up before the dogs. You see that ship over there? La la la. See that giant ship behind the trees? That's stuff coming from China. It's coming in. It's coming in. Maybe there's some yellow cake uranium. 
<laughs> I'm like fucking crazy kook. Mr. Webb, oh, there's, there's yellow cake uranium on the boats. They're going to blow us up. <laughs> That's fucking crazy shit, man. Trade. Trade is good, man. Trade is good, right? Let it, let it, let it, let's trade. Uh, so what else we got here, man? Let's fuck it. Before I start enjoying my day. Treason, impeachment. Oh, treason. Donald Trump says the Democrats are treasonous. Treason. Execute them. Pfft, wow. It's going to lock them up for sure. Right? It's going to kill them. <laughs> but still not a single one, a single, a single banker or a single real player has ever gone to jail or ever, ever been prosecuted for anything, really. It's going to knock off some little guys, right? They knock off Assange, right? It's a, it's a, it's, they, they shoot for the low-hanging fruit so that they could steal more of the money. Switch out that swamp. Get rid of the old swamp creatures. Put in the new swamp creatures. So that the money, the, all the stealing goes our way instead of their way. That's all it is. Really. So, um, impeach him. Impeach him. The more they say impeach, just look, look, read the lips of those who say impeach. If impeachment is on your lips, that means you're guilty as hell, man. You're fucking running scared. Law enforcement, okay. Law enforcement, no, no, no. You'll say, oh, no, no, you gotta, you gotta lock them up. I'm gonna get some of my stuff from China in a minute. This is a New York Harbor, so they're heading to the port of probably Newark. There's, there's ports in Bayonne. They don't really dock to Brooklyn anymore. They dock in Jersey, which is right over the water. That's Staten Island, but then. Jersey is up the up the up the coast in the New York Harbor. Borders the New York Harbor. But anyway, so so obstruction, obstruction, impeach him. I want him impeached. Why he obstructed? What did he obstruct? I don't know, but sounds good. <laughs> That's the Democrats, right? That's their, that's their policy. That's their, their, their whole pitch to get Trump out so that they could get in and get back in the driver's seat and steal the money. <laughs> Trump is having too much fun, so they got to get in there and steal. And none of it comes back to any, any of us, right? No health care, no, no, you know, no, no nothing. Right? No, no more jobs, no creative programs, no leisure time, no, no way of no workers' rights. None of that's on the table. Impeach him because we don't like him. <laughs> right? As far as abortion goes, too, you know the elites. I, I think I'll just talk about that for briefly because it's it's out of my lane. I believe you know right to choose and all that, but I also don't believe in in, in late term abortions. That's besides the point. My my opinion is irrelevant. But I will say that the elites, the power elites. Like people with uh, a lot of money, let's 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 use a better term. People with a lot of money, for example, in the states where they're trying to make abortion illegal, that doesn't affect wealthy people because if a wealthy person's daughter gets knocked up right, and can't get an abortion in that state, no problem. They put her on a plane. She goes. She flies to New York. Gets off the plane. Has her abortion, stays in a nice hotel, has a nice breakfast, gets back on a plane, goes back to Alabama. Right? And, and, and everything is okay. But the real, the real tragedy of, of no abortion or abortion, making abortion illegal in certain states is because of, is the tragedy is, is young people, is, you know, young women that get knocked up or... They don't want to have a kid, or they got raped, or whatever, and they, the laws, the law rains down on them because they can't get on a plane and fly to New York, you know, and have have a nice continental breakfast and go have an abortion and get back on a plane and nothing ever happened. Like they can't do that, right? So, the abortion laws that are created by by these scumbag politicians in these states, it doesn't affect them, is what I'm saying, right? So, so. 
if people are for it, they're for it. They don't care because it doesn't affect them. That's that's the state. That's the state of things. That ship is is heading out. See the rat lines go both ways. <laughs> so um so that talk will keep going on. Let's talk uh, uh, just uh, finally about the yellow vests. Yellow vest 29. Act 29 yellow vest. The yellow vest. Uh, so mainstream media saying saying they're losing steam. <laughs> <laughs> they 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 look they, they quit, right? Meanwhile, the EU just had parliamentary elections, and they they took Macron's party down. Fucking La Pen, La Pen, La Pen party. Right? Label them far right. Oh, the far right, <laughs> taking over. So yellow vest, yelling and screaming for 26, 29 weeks. Did they have any effect? Yeah, they had effect. They affected political... They they affected Macron. They didn't knock him out of office or force him to resign, but they certainly brought him down a notch by depowering his... his... Um, his corrupt party. His conservative, whatever. Liberal media... Neoliberal party, right? So they are having an effect. And they should be celebrating in the street right now. Great victory. Right, because when Macron Macron's days are numbered, right? He's he's totally un, unpopular. And why are those people fighting? Why are the people in in what what does yellow vest mean as compared to Venezuela? Right, in Venezuela it's like people are fighting the oligarchy to keep them out. And 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 in France they're fighting to get rid of them. They got they let them in already. Right, EU. Ah, uh, corporatization. Corporatization. Corporatization is what we fight in this in this time. Income and wealth inequality. Uh, that's what it's all about. Right? I do this on a daily basis. I, was at a, I never want to. I, I, I want to. I never want to. Um, I never want to lose touch with the with the uh, the. Insane corruption <laughs> uh, and the insanity of our current politics. I never want to lose touch with that. I want to live to see it change. I want to live to see it to um, live to see it replaced with something more humane. Ah, dreamer. Uh, so, Marcus Conti reporting on this. Uh, I think it's June 1st. <laughs> I might be wrong. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting.